Good morning friends. Today I am going to discuss about the first chapter of biology and that is the cell. <clears throat> there are four questions. What is cell? Who discovered the cell? When cell is discovered and how it is discovered? What is cell? Cell is the structural and functional unit of life as it is given here. Now who discovered it? Robert Hooke. When discovered? In 1665. How it is discovered? By seeing the slice of a cord under the microscope. There is some more questions that are related with this topic. Cell, as we know it is a structural and functional unit of life, all the living organisms are made up of cell. Then we discuss about the basic structure. The cell have three basic structures. One, that is the plasma membrane. Second is the cytoplasm and third is the nucleus. Cell membrane, plasma membrane. We say it, cell membrane provides outer covering of the cell. The plant cell contains cell membrane plus cell wall. So we can see that in case of the plant, the outer covering is cell wall. While in case of the animal, the outer covering is the cell membrane. This provides protection. Cell wall is made up of cellulose and that's why it is hard. While the cell membrane is made up of lipids plus protein. So it is soft. The second basic structure is the cytoplasm. That cytoplasm is a gelatinous matrix that lies between the cell wall and the nuclear wall. You may say the cell membrane or the nuclear membrane. This provides nourishment, helps in transportation, helps in communication, it is composed of fat, protein, carbohydrate, calcium, phosphorus and some other minerals are also there. All the cellular activities that is cell division, especially the cytokinesis takes place in cytoplasm. And the third one is the nucleus. Nucleus is not the third one. It is the first one that control all the activity of the cell. If there is a no nucleus, the cell are poor like the prokaryotic. One thing, now we can go over the differences between the plant and animal cell. The plant cell, the outer wall is made up of cellulose and known as the cell wall. You touch it, the wall. Is it a smooth or rough? Is it soft or hard? Certainly it is hard. Why? Because over the wall, cement is there. And cellulose is also the cementing substance that provide hardening. Why? In case of the animal, the cell membrane outer covering is composed of lipid and protein and lipid and protein is just like the grease, it is soft, membranous. Now about the organelles, we are going to discuss about the six or seven organelles, I start from the plastids. Plastids are the characteristic feature of the plant cell. It is not found in animal cell, with some exceptions that Eugelina, Clamidomonas, 
एवं द पारामोशियम आल्सो कंटेन्स द प्लास्टिड्स दे कैन प्रिपेयर देयर फूड एंड आल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन द अदर माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया द पावर हाउस ऑफ द सेल इट जेनरेट द पावर सिंथेसाइज द पावर एनर्जी for the cellular respiration and helps control and provide energy to all third one is the endoplasmic reticulum it is a network of tubes that may be free or attached one end with the nuclear membrane and second end with the cell membrane golgi body it is also called the store house of the cell all the product are stored and it is utilized it helps in the packaging and processing of the food materials ribosomes it is a small proteinaceous body that also helps in the cellular respiration helps in the protein synthesis vacuole it is generally found in the case of the plants a large central vacuoles are there but in animal case it case it is absent in some animals it is found in a smaller in size and less in number some other questions are also related with the cell that what are the different functions what are the differences between the plant and animal cell and it is not possible to go through all the points in one lecture so today i must stop at that point you go through it thank you